Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Rohit Gautam and in this video we are going to see how can we identify and find open redirect vulnerabilities. First of all, before finding these types of vulnerabilities, let's know about what actually is open redirect. So the main purpose of this vulnerability is to redirect our victim to a malicious website. And the malicious website is nothing but attackers controlled website. So remember, most of the times to exploit this vulnerability, we trick the victim to visit the malicious website. So you can say this is somewhat like of a phishing attack in which the users get redirected to the attackers controlled website and try to do some malicious activities over there or end up giving up their credentials or something like that. Now, there are two ways to identify this vulnerability. The first way is through the URL, which we are going to see into this particular video. So the second way to identify this open redirect vulnerability is through modifying the host, which is also known as host header injection. Wherein we try to modify the host of the particular application into the request and into the response if we see that whatever the attacker's input has been given into the host gets as in reflected into the location header then if the application is redirecting to the new URL, which is the attacker's controlled URL, then we have successfully found out a host header injection. Now host header injection can be very, very dangerous in some of the cases wherein web applications which perform reset password may try to send the reset password token or the URL to the attacker's control domain. When the attacker puts his domain, that is evil.com into any web applications host header. All right, the third way is using the X forwarded host. So you can put this particular specific header into the request and put evil.com and check for the reflection of evil.com into the response for the location tab. If the web application gets redirected to the evil.com, which is basically the attacker's control domain, then we have successfully found out a open redirect vulnerability. All right. Now to show an example of this type of vulnerability or the URLs, which may look like and where you can identify this vulnerability is this. Wherein I have given a, an example of a domain which is example.com and you can see the endpoint which is login.php and there would be a parameter which look like redirect URL and it may be redirecting to one of its internal endpoint or any other URL related to that specific target as you can see. Now the main catch over here is if we as an attacker are able to use this particular parameter which we will also call as injection point and give the attackers control domain which is evil.com instead of pro.example.com or we can choose a parameter like url equals to or redirect underscore url equals to and give attackers control domain and if it get redirect to the evil.com you will be able to see the location header into the response it get if it gets set it to evil.com that means you have successfully found a valid redirect vulnerability all right now to test this i have created a simple bash script which you can try yourself and you will be able to identify a lot of open redirect kind of vulnerabilities all right so let's quickly break this down and see what exactly is this. So the first step is way back URLs on a target. We already know this, how this works. The second thing that we are going to do over here is 
we are going to only grip those URLs which contains equals to HTTP because we know a URL which may be redirecting somewhere may look like something like this which may contain a parameter and may contain some of the URLs or links wherein it should redirect. So basically we are going to abuse this particular functionality of redirection and we are going to tell the web application to make us redirect on to the attacker's control domain. All right. So that's why from these all URLs, we are going to grab only those URLs which contains equals to HTTP. All right. The next step is now all those URLs which contains HTTP somewhere in a parameter, as you can see over here, which is redirect URL, we need to replace our attacker's control domain. So here, for example, I'm going to put evil.com using QS replace. We know QS replace is a tool by Tom Nom Nom, which replaces any input that has been given. So after a parameter, as you can see, redirect URL, we are going to replace this by evil.com. That's why we have used QS replace. Now, after we have replaced all the URLs by the attacker's control domain, which is evil.com, the next step is to send a request onto those each URLs and see if they get redirected or not. So for this, to send multiple requests, we are going to use a do while loop. So while read host to do curl, now we are using curl over here and we are going to send request onto each host. Now we have used hyphen L over here and hyphen I. Hyphen I stands for we only want to see the response headers and we want to see the location header as well. So because of this, we will be able to grab the location header from the response and hyphen I stands for only show us the header, do not show us the page source. Now from here, we are going to grab something. We are going to grab evil.com, which means if there is a successful redirect into the headers, into the response, then we should grab evil.com. And if anything such that matches, please print host is vulnerable and finish the particular loop. So this is how it looks like. We have broken this down and let's run this and see what kind of response do we get and do we even find a valid host or a valid vulnerability of open redirect. Well, let me just copy this and let me just paste it into my terminal. So I'm going to paste it over here and hit enter. And let's see what happens. First step is Wayback URLs is happening for test PHP. And then we are grepping for HTTP and then QS replace to replace evil.com and then the loop. And now you can see we have successfully got one URL, which it has identified to be vulnerable. Now you can mass scale this for high value targets. I have chosen a testphp.vulnweb.com website, which is a vulnerable website. And we have successfully found a valid URL, which is vulnerable to open redirect. All right. Now let's quickly confirm that this is vulnerable or not. So I'm going to open incognito tab. I'm going to paste this URL over here and I'm going to hit enter. And if this gets redirected to the attacker's control domain, then it is vulnerable. Let's hit enter and you can see it successfully got redirected to the attacker's control domain. I'm going to again paste it and hit enter. And you can see it is getting redirected to the attacker's control domain. Now this way, any attacker may misuse this vulnerability in tricking the users to redirect onto evil.com and evil.com evil.com can be the exact replica of the target domain wherein the user may get tricked into logging in into the web application and giving out sensitive details like his credentials. So I hope you guys understood how you can identify this. Now I also used the GF patterns over here and I did not get the desirable results. For example, if I show you, 
and I'm going to use GF redirect pattern and over here you can see I only got these many URLs and obviously if I'm going to run the same thing onto this URLs I'm not going to get an exact match so let's run this okay I need to remove this extra pipe and let me hit enter and let's see what kind of results do we get as you can see we did not get any results because the GF pattern for redirect tries to match only a specific characters a specific set of characters but it does not match injection points or parameters like R obviously we need to test all the parameters which contain some URLs like HTTP so this will give us more good results in a long run I hope you guys understood how you can perform open redirect and you can mass scale it for many URLs for a lot of targets. Thank you.